guys, Peter Pinch here, and welcome down to the Quest for the Open vlog this week. And if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that like button, and please comment below on everything that you see in today's video. And I'm at a surprisingly dry, highly golf club. It's been absolutely smashing it down uh, in the UK, but this is quite a wet course generally, but actually it's dry. I'm a little bit kind of confused about what's going on. It's been a busy week. Um, I was <laughs> down south a few days ago, which we'll speak about in a minute because it's a brand new video series. But I've been up here having a lesson with Dan talking about pre-shot routine and exactly what I need to start doing on the course and just reminding myself of stuff I already know. And I mean, pre-shot routine is one of those things which I think most people know what it's about, but actually to go through it, to focus on it and to do it properly, that's another thing. Like why? Why didn't you make me film it, Dan? Me make you film. You meant you meant to be my coach. You meant to be like teaching me all the ways. Chipping a chipping eagle. YouTube how to, to film for YouTube. I was hoping you wouldn't notice that, but that was a that was a chipping eagle. Okay, chipping eagle, chipping eagle. This is a rare treat, ladies and gentlemen. We've been joined by. Mr. Dan Whitaker, who does actually play some golf. Do you own a set of golf clubs? <laughs> Perfect. Tell you what, that is the best miss that you could have had. That's what happens when you hit it out of there. I'll do. Oh, nice. Get it. It isn't your one round because you are playing in the uh, the YouTube golf day, are you not? I am. Yeah, playing. So, Formby Hall on May the 5th? 6th. 6th, May 6th. Bank holiday Monday, isn't it? Yeah. Here in the UK. So, Dan will be there. Make sure you check, well check out uh, Rick Shields' channel online, all the details are on there about how you can get involved with the day at Formby Hall, see myself and Dan raising money for Prostate Cancer UK. Should be a great day, should everyone awesome should day. come down and watch it. Should be awesome. So a couple of days later, down at Crossland Heath, which is near Huddersfield, and boy oh boy, it is a beautiful day. Uh, don't let the hat fool you, it is. No, let the hat fool you. No, the hat's a confirmation that it is still a little bit chilly, but I have to say this course, I feel this course owes me something from last time. I played well, but just could not get a score going at all. So hopefully this year, Also, I think I found a little secret. Had a mouthful of falafel wrap as well at the same time. I mean, always learning. If you are struggling, just stick a wrap in your face. So this is a feature of the course here at Crossland Heath. So I think this is all old kind of quarries as you kind of come down here. So you see there, that's a par three, which is perched on the top of a rocky outcrop. This is the innards of the rocky outcrop, which I was just in then. And that's what you see when you actually get up here. So all around this area are old mill towns and a lot of Yorkshire's old mill towns, a lot of Lancashire's old mill towns as well. And this is just perched right on top of the heath. If it's like this tomorrow, I'd be surprised. It is beautiful weather. I'm almost down to one layer now. And it is like no wind no wind it was a lot windier here last time so 
in my head that's what I'm actually planning to expect a lot more wind but it's like this oh yes please Right then, comp is over, uh, just got back home. Let's have a little bit of a look um, through these stats. So I shot five over, uh, which is a 76 around Crossland Heath. And oh, oh my. Um, yeah, my putting was interesting. Uh, so from a putting standpoint, I lost 4.7 strokes uh, against pro baseline, uh, which is, I think, actually probably better than it deserved. I was not um not very good however to put it in perspective so that score so six over that actually puts me tied 18th out of over 80 players who played today only one person one person in an entire professional field on a course which is only just over 6,000 yards long broke part just one person. Now that should probably tell you what it was like today. So it's up on top of a hill. It was super, super windy. And as it's a short course, the only really defense that it has are the greens. And the greens today were, I mean, obviously today they're always, very undulating, but also they were quite quick and a little bit bobbly. So that combination is really, really not ideal, especially if you're like me today and we're struggling a bit on the greens. It was also a case of actually hitting into the wrong place on the greens as well, because I knew from the practice rounds that I had that I really couldn't hit it in certain positions. So as soon as I get beyond some of the pins, got beyond some of the pins, like it was it was a hard two put, even if the greens were rolling really, really nicely. So it was my own fault for not controlling the approach. On the positive though, my driving was really, really good today. So I picked up strokes with my driver. And to be honest, I very rarely missed a fairway. And if I did miss a fairway, it was only by a very, very small amount. It was just the fact that I wasn't quite striking my irons as well to get it in a good position. And then that horrendous putting. But I think my issues today, they went a little bit deeper than just putting poorly because my pre-shot routines and the mental side of my game today, it really, really wasn't good enough again. Um, nerves wise, not really so much, but I was getting a little bit down on myself throughout the round, as you might expect if I'm three whacking. I mean, the, to be honest, the third hole is a very good example of where I just wasn't quite on it today. So it's a sweeping dog leg around the corner and down a hill. And I hit a five wood over 300 yards. Basically, I snap hooked it around the corner. It was a great shot. And then hit an eight time from about 180 to about 15 foot and then three whacked. And it wasn't a good three whack. It was like just past the pin and I missed like a two footer. Now, that was a loss of concentration, so I just didn't read the put, I just settled to it and whacked it and it missed. And that straight away put me a little bit on edge. And then the next hole, um, I had a really good drive, a bit of a dodgy approach, chipped it just past the pin, I'm talking two foot, but to actually hole it from where I was above the pin and to the right, I had to literally aim almost two cups outside the right. So that'll give you an indication of what the greens are like at Crossland Heath. I imagine in the summer they would be terrifying <laughs> at times. So that mental side of the game again needs work and I know it needs work and I've not been working at it hard enough. It's as simple as that. So I've been putting more time and more energy into my technique and that is showing through outside of competition play. So when I'm not playing an event, FSX skills challenge and you know the stuff when I'm just vlogging. That is great and I'm hitting it really well, but in competition situations where it matters for the quest of the Open, it's not quite there yet. So yeah, double down on the mental work, that's gotta be number one, and then on the short game as well, gotta tighten up the full swing. I've basically gotta work on everything, there's no secret there, but definitely this might shock you. Uh, golf is a lot to do with the mental side of things. I'm not sure if you've heard that before, that a lot of it's played in between the ears. I'm sure a good golfer said that once upon a time. But get this edited and head down south tomorrow. So filming with Rick, the golf bit of challenges. I know you're probably gonna be quite excited about that. So comment below if you are, let me know. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Guys, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. Uh, follow me on this journey. Hopefully with the Quest for the Open stuff, you are learning as I am learning about how to prioritize what I need to do in practice. And for me, it is definitely what's going on up here so guys thank you so so much for watching or what's not going on up here uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already follow me on my other social media platforms as well and we'll see you down here next time okay ah